Interstate 80 is a major transcontinental highway running from New York City to downtown San Francisco. Perhaps the most infamous section of I-80 is right here in Wyoming. An 80-mile stretch between Laramie and Walcott Junction has been called Snow Chi Minh Trail because of its dangerous winter driving conditions, leading to frequent closures, crashes, and fatalities. The author of an upcoming book, John Wagoner, tells us how this dicey piece of interstate got its nickname and the controversy behind it. So John, how did I-80 between Laramie and Rollins come about? The Lincoln Highway actually was steeped in a very similar controversy. So when they were planning the Lincoln Highway in 1913 through 1915, they were actually looking at the Elk Mountain route instead oh. of the Medicine Bow route. And for a short while, um, agreed that the Elk Mountain route would be a better route. So for a sh very short period, the official route for the old Lincoln Highway was between Laramie and Elk Mountain and then on to Rollins. Okay. So when we advance to um, I-80, we have a, a similar story. So I guess you could say history repeats itself. <laughs> so. And, um, so basically we just have um, a lot of politics involved. What's behind this the debate over the route? What was the debate about? Over time the official route of the Lincoln Highway um, went through Bosler, Rock River, and Medicine Bow. That's finally what got settled upon and in time the Lincoln Highway became US 30. Well, when they were planning Interstate 80, it was assumed that Interstate 80 would more or less just get built right over US 30. And for the most part in the state, it did, with this huge exception between Laramie and Walcott Junction. And the federal government, in a survey, realized they could shave off 19 miles of highway if they cut through Elk Mountain instead of arching to the north around Bosler, Rock River, Medicine Bow. So the Fed said, here's a place where we can save 19 miles. This will save a lot of fuel, um, especially for the trucking industry and the bus industry. So we really think that um, the highway department should consider putting the route there. And what was wrong with putting the route there? Well, yeah, we, we have a trade-off. We can either save 19 miles and bypass these existing towns, or um, we can put up with snow and wind. Wow. So the, the stretch that was finally decided upon through Elk Mountain is in a notoriously bad um, chunk of country. So it's very harsh, a lot of wind, a lot of snow. The roads are closed. Um, Interstate 80 was dedicated on October 3rd, 1970, between um, Laramie and Rollins, and they had a, a uh, ceremony at Arlington. Four days later, the road was closed. <laughs> so um, it didn't take long for for the wisdom of the old locals to, to come true. The federal government said, oh, modern snow removal equipment, they'll be able to keep up with it. Um, so basically they forced the route onto the highway department. Um, the highway department could locate the road wherever it wanted, um, and if the federal government approved it, then the federal government would fund um, the project. So basically they told the the highway department where you're going to put the road if you want us to pay for it. Ah, okay. So the highway commission more or less had its hands tied behind its back. What was the local reaction to this? It was uh, horrible. Basically the locals said this is going to to be a big mistake mm. and they fought it for years. Fought so, it in what way? So well the highway on paper was approved in 1959, oh. but construction actually didn't start until late 1966. It really didn't get going until a, in the, the summer of 1967. So basically from when the routing debate started in 1956, mm. um, it lasted until 1967. So locals writing um, Senator McGee and 
uh, Governor Simpson and Governor Hickey and, and just all the, the representatives, um, the Highway Commission, just don't do it, don't do it, but to no avail. So how long did it take for Snow Chi Minh Trail to become the name of this little stretch? In my research, the earliest um, documented use of the term came within about eight months. Okay. That's not very long. Not though. very long at all. <laughs> it, it, yeah. So likely people were throwing the name around ah. um, that first winter. Tell me about the significance of that nickname. When the road opens in 1970, we're, we're still involved in the Vietnam War. And associated with the Vietnam War, of course, is the uh, Ho Chi Minh Trail. It's, it's a death trail. It has horrible connotations. Um, so when we take that Ho Chi Minh Trail out of the, the Vietnam War and apply it to the highway, basically, when I-80 opened, there were a lot of crashes. Of course, we still have crashes today. We, we had a huge pile up this, this past um, winter with about 50 vehicles in it, several fatalities. So basically, the Snow Chi Minh Trail from Laramie to Rollins is kind of seen as a, a death trail by many people in the winter. It's just a very dangerous highway to be on. And of course, it's nothing like the Ho Chi Minh Trail of the Vietnam War. I'm, you know, no one would ever suggest that. One of your chapters, you say myths about I-80. So can you tell us a couple of what's, or at least one myth there? Yeah, so I grew up in Green River and we spent a lot of time on Interstate 80 going to the football games and basketball games. And that's what we did on Saturdays. And growing up, I had always heard that Lady Bird Johnson said that the first lady said, Oh, how beautiful. Let's put Interstate 80 there instead of out in the prairie through um, Medicine Bow. It would look so much better closer to the mountains. And so I just kind of grew up thinking, well, Lady Bird Johnson must have um, had a say in, in that routing decision. So when I started to do the research, I, I found that's not true at all. For starters, as I had mentioned, the route was approved on paper in 1959 long before she was First Lady. And I believe the reason that myth came to be, um, in 1964, um, right before they start construction on that chunk of I-80, she was in Wyoming. Um, she was in Grand Teton National Park for a couple of days for a conference. And then she was in my hometown of Green River dedicating Flaming Gorge Dam that had recently opened. And I believe with her being in Wyoming at roughly the same time this I-80 project is coming together and the fact that one of her roles that she took on as First Lady was highway beautification. And we do have the Highway Beautification Act of 1965 that, that comes out and she's a, a big supporter of that. When you take all these um, unrelated events and mm -hmm. put them together. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of folks started to think that it must have been Lady Bird Johnson in Wyoming um, who said that's where we're going to put the highway because it will be more beautiful. Uh, interesting. Well, thank you, yeah. John. Fascinating history. Well, um, thank you for inviting me. Enjoyed it. John Wagoner's upcoming book, Snow Chi Minh Trail, The History of Interstate 80 Between Laramie and Walcott Junction, is due out this fall by Skyline West Press.